I'm going to talk about the importance of soil to civilization and the way that past societies have degraded their land and that has limited the longevity of those societies, but also about how we can solve the problem, how we can fix the problem of soil degradation today through adopting a different philosophy of farming. And I'll show some of the farmers around the world that I've visited who've adopted these methods and greatly improved their soil while reducing their agrochemical use and thereby becoming more profitable themselves. You know, probably the biggest long-term threat to the global food supply is the way we've been degrading our agricultural soils. Because we depend on healthy, fertile soil to grow our food. And we're losing about 0.3%, one-third of 1% of our agricultural productive capacity each year, according to a 2015 UN report. That cannot go on for long before it adds up to a fairly large number. If you play that out for the next 100 years, the next century, we would lose a third of the world's agricultural productivity at a time when our population is, is uh, predicted to grow greatly. We need to basically return the fertility to our degraded agricultural land and reverse the decline that's ongoing today in order to be able to feed the world tomorrow. So who's responsible for really trying to make modern agriculture more sustainable? Really all of us are. I mean, from the level of individual consumers and the buying choices that we make, to individual farmers trying to improve their land so that their children and their grandchildren might have equally, if not better, fertile land to work than they do. And really one of the places that um, uh, needs a lot more attention is at the policy level at the governmental level to encourage the adoption of the style of farming that can rebuild soil fertility. And, and obviously um, uh, NGOs, non-governmental organizations have a big role to play in encouraging people and facilitating the transformation. But we really need everybody in each of those areas to be thinking about and working towards a more sustainable food system because quite frankly, you know, the future of humanity in many ways really depends on what we do with that over the next hundred years. Yeah, you can imagine the scenario that a century from now we could look at what would then be modern farming practices and wonder why it was we were farming the way that we do today. Um, if we can develop farming practices that re build the fertility of the land as a consequence of farming practices, um, it would be truly revolutionary in humanity's relationship with the earth. And it's one that we need to pull off, that transition, because we can't keep degrading our soil while increasing our population. We need to stabilize our population, and we need to improve our soil. That's the recipe for a healthy, prosperous future for humanity.